Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel or the course and here I am going to tell you about what does Delta Live Table means and what is the advantages of Delta Live Tables. Okay, so I just copied this architecture diagram from the Databricks website. So let's not to jump into this as of now and we'll start from some basic. Okay, so uh, Okay, so let me start it. So if you are coming from the Delta table, right, or if you're coming from the ETL perspective, so you know that, you know, uh, we have a kind of uh, Mendelian architecture. Okay, uh, we when we do a ETL, right, when we do a ETL, then you know, he, you know, we have to extract it, we have to transform it, and we have to load it right now in terms of the delta uh, delta link Mendelian architecture so you see that hey we have here branch layer then we have here uh, silver layer or we have here gold layer right and we know what type of data we should be stored here and what type of data should be stored here and here right now in the branch, if we talk about branch, then we, we know that, hey, we have source 1, source 2, source 3. We have in source 1 also, we have a lot of table T1, T2. Let's say we have like file 1, file 2. And we have like, you know, here also we have multiple things like say file 1, file 2, like that. Right. And then, you know, all for all these tables or files, whatever we have it, right. We have to clean it in our clients layer. Correct. Right. So you you can know he now you know he you know we have to write a code for that. You know we you you maybe you know writing a notebooks or whatsoever. Maybe you are writing a multiple notebooks or maybe you are writing a single notebook to do the do the cleaning. And once the cleaning is done, now you can say we will be having like T one T two. Uh, T1, T2 and let's say uh, T3, T4, T5, T6. I have just changed the name of F1, F2 and all this thing, right? Now we will be making gold layer. So in gold layer, what we need to do? What we need to do? In gold layer, we, we make a dimension fact or aggregated data, right? So maybe we will write some logics in the notebook and we will be combining like T1 and T2 and making one table called uh, 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 T7 okay maybe I'm gonna combine this T4 T2 T5 T6 T7 like that and making a table called T8 right you can just assume it you know you do not need to I mean I'm just taking an example and in moving forward I will be taking a real example okay this is one this is one uh, very 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 good correct uh, now why I don't okay so here what I what I'm gonna do now so this is what we need to do right this is now what we might we usually do in our uh, legacy way you know in a database but now you can assume after making all these notebooks tables right right what we have to do we have to uh, you know create a workflow correct where we where we need to define that hey uh, first this table one or maybe this notebook one should run once this table two should run i have to run for table two which is in notebook two and maybe this t1 uh, you know uh, i have means you know I can run this T2 T2 and T3 parallel right once it is done then go to some other notebook like that like that we have to make a what we have to make a workflow so sometime see if it is a very small project then we can say ha huh, it is very simple I'll go and I'll do it but if it is a very big project it is kind of difficult this is only not just a problem the problem is another which is a, a data quality see 
if if ideally when we are moving from bronze to silver layer we should have one data quality checks and generally as a developer we have to write it down maybe you guys don't write it down but ideally we have to write it and when we are moving from silver to gold we have to write the same data quality checks let's say nulls are present or not whether whether duplicates present or not and so 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 things right so we have to do it and based on the you know result based on data quality check sometime we have to you know stop the pipeline or sometime we have to delete those rows or those entities right so this is kind of you know manual process till now correct now delta table i mean delta live table has come in the picture and now we'll go to here and first of all i'll go to here you can see delta live table is a declarative etl framework for the databricks data intelligence platform that helps data teams simplify streaming and batch batch etl cost effectively simply define the transformation to perform on your data and let dlt python automatically manage task orchestration cluster management and so 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 okay so before this is what it is written over here so i have explained in the uh, you know our in my diagram right right so that's what it is written in english language now you can see this is the diagram so delta live table is built on top of what on top of delta lake that's what we have written over here okay that's what we have written over here delta lake without delta lake it is not possible if you are making a delta live table on top of data lake sorry it is not going to work so you have to be uh, use the delta tables only correct now you can see as we have discussed in the past that hey we have a bronze layer bronze zone then we do some data transformations then we go to here silver zone then model fact and gold layer now you can see in between bronze and silver layer there is a data quality there is a data quality and all these are the cluster right now you can see this is a kind of continuous or schedule in ingest so we can ingest i mean we can uh, we can um, schedule it for for some time or we if you want we can also make it uh, run for running keep it running for longer periods you know we can schedule the pipeline in such a way now this is what we have it you know you can see continuous batch or streaming processing we can process the batch data also we can process the streaming data and we can also process both the data both type of data we can process here together then we have like error handling and automatic recovery data pipeline observe visibility then automatic deployments and operation orchestrated data pipeline so you can see data pipeline observability see how it happens is that with the help of data lineage okay with the help of data lineage if we have a data lineage enabled for the tables then it directly you know go and you know map it like that like that it it happens right so and then at the end you can see the data is being shared by shared with you know sql analytics bi ai ml and so so other people right so this is what this is what you know we have uh, in the delta live table and it is very simple to be honest if you know delta lake if you know delta tables if you know pi spark if you know sql itself then you can build your pipelines right so in the next video i am going to tell you about uh about you know uh, the detail how how we are gonna you know uh, build a pipeline so i am going to take a scenario see i will make like two tables uh not two tables i mean two two three i am gonna make here three three files you know one csv file i am make it one json file i make it and third one I'll, i i will make it some other file okay then what i'm going to do and i will keep just a small data only not you know very big data uh, i'll just keeping like 10 to 20 rows in it 
and I am going to create a pipeline for you guys. Okay, and I'll do cleaning. I do some exception handling over there, and I do some you know data modeling over there, and I'll just save the data into the pipe uh, gold layer, so that you guys will also understand what is happening over here. Right. So this is my uh, motto. Now there is also there is three concepts in del delta live tables. I have mentioned over here a streaming table, materialized views, and views. So a streaming table, each record is processed exactly one. This assume an append only source. So is, see, we use a streaming table over here. Why? Because if there is a you know every time we're not gonna you know read the entire data which already has been processed. So we are just gonna take the that data that rows which is not processed yet or which is a kind of new. Okay. Then we can, we we make here. Materialized views, okay. So records are processed as required to return accurate result for the current data state. Materialized view should be used for data processing tasks such as aggregation, transformation, and so. Views, you know, views does not uh, have a. Um, I mean, they don't um, uh, create a table, right? So records are processed each time the view is required. Sorry, the view is queried. Okay. So every time when we are querying a view, it will go and check what is the table it is pointing, and it will process that table and return the result. That is a view. Materialized view is a kind of table you can assume. Okay. So this is what you know. We are gonna work on these three things and data quality checks also. We are gonna work it right. So yeah, and what you can do. Here you can see this is my course which I am building and the example which I have shared, I am gonna put here itself, okay? And you can see till now 124 students have taken, right? And uh, here what I am covering. So you can see till now almost 14 hours content is uh, published. That I yet to publish a lot of videos over here. It's not like it's completed. This is data bricks. Okay, and we have a lot of things in database. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cover only a basic of it, right? So how I planned is that, see, first of all, learn basic, very, very basic thing I have, you know, um, explained you, right? All these things you can see, we have manipulate data. Uh, we, what is necessary, I have, you know, explained you. Then Delta Lake features also I have explained you. Then after that i have to explain you like you know what is batch and streaming read and write batch data what is streaming how to read streaming data and so so that you will get a flavor of it you know hey what is streaming if someone asks you did you work on streaming you can say you can say at least some few words right? it's not like you will be blank right and then database utility is a very simple simple thing and then spark optimization trick this i am going to cover at the end when I complete all the database uh, questions or lectures or videos, because this is gonna take time, and someone who is new to database he is not gonna understand this uh, very soon, right? I am hundred percent sure. So it will take a lot of time. So it's better to touch this uh, this portion at the end. Then we have Unity Catalog setup end to end dude. Okay, so you can do that, and. Uh, then we have utility, utilities and framework. This I yet to create it. This is very important thing. How to create our .sh files to install uh, libraries over the clusters. Then multi-threading work. This logging in database, testing framework. I, all things I will be you know telling you. Delta life table. Here I'm gonna you know upload all these stuff. Creating you know streaming tables, materialized views and views. How to implement data quality checks and so 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 thing. I'm gonna tell you. Right, and then we have like database workflow CI/CD. I have already completed it. One video is pending. Deploy workflow using GitHub Actions. I will be making. I'm, I'm just researching those things. It's not quite easy, to be honest. Right, and apart from this, I have covered like how to deploy notebooks and so. And then hugging face the model application using database. So everything is covered. I mean, almost. I have. I am covering all the topics. And if you are planning to take this course, go ahead and take it. Definitely, you will get benefited. Already, 124 students have been have taken this course, and 
see you do not need to learn about mount point and so so things here everything is latest you know so i mean depends on you you know if you want to take you can take otherwise no problem you can learn it from your youtube also thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture